I'm, I'm fucking done with these fucking kid movies. The two things they want to do, give them nightmares and make them cry. Every fucking one of them. Every fucking one of them. You know, it starts off, your kid's happy. Halfway through, they introduce the fucking creep. You know, these are kids. They haven't met assholes yet, unless you're a bad parent. You know, can, can they fucking, you keep them in the Santa Claus world? Even those old Santa Claus ones. You know, when that fucking abominable snowman comes out, starts fucking screaming and shit. You, you, you sit down, you forget. You're like, oh, I'm going to, this is going to be a great little bonding experience. And you start off and you're having a great time. And about fucking 40 minutes into the movie, your kid's sitting in your lap going, dad, I'm scared. I don't, I don't want to do this. You know, I don't know. There's always like some some sort of fucking painful backstory, you know, and, uh, you know, and then the other thing, too, is then when they finally fucking win, the good guy comes back and wins. Can they just end the fucking movie? Oh, good. We did that. They just keep more obstacles, more obstacles, more obstacles. Drag it out. There's no suspense. It's a kid's movie. We know the fucking good guys are going to win. Just end it. The parents want to go home. They just keep it going and going. I, I mean, I lost fucking track with this fucking movie. How many times it just kept going and going and going and going. Jesus Christ. And then I have to do this fucking move. And if I do this move, I'm going to fucking die. And then, of course, he does it. Then I go, well, how are they not going to make him fucking die if he does it? Oh. Jesus Christ. My kids sit in my lap the whole fucking time. Um, anyway, so I missed the second half is what I was trying to say there. Um, I had such fucking high hopes for that. I was like, you know what? Being a fucking great dad here. You know, I was going to hang an extra day in Philly and go see Porcupine Tree. And I said, no, I'm not doing that. I'm, t- I'm doing the exact opposite. As much as I love that band, I'm going to take a 6.30 a.m. flight. I'm going to land at fucking 9 something out in L.A. I'm going to hang with my kid all day, you know, the kiddos. And then I'm, next day, I'm going to watch a little bit of football, but I'm going to the movies. All right. We're having a dad weekend. All right. And then I lost all my bets and, and my kid got scared at the movie and, and the whole fucking thing went to shit. <laughs> it all went to shit. It was actually a good movie. I just I guess my kid isn't old enough. The really reality is I don't think my kid's old enough to see those kinds of movies. It has to be a straight rated G movie because um, it was a, a really good movie. Like I was enjoy I, I couldn't enjoy the movie because my kid was getting scared, but. Um, I actually like the movie. There, there we go. See that? See, this is the new me. I flip out, I scream and yell, and then I go, you know what? You're right. It was actually, uh, it's actually me. Maybe I could have looked at the rating. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I figure it's a, if it's a fucking cartoon, you know? I don't know. Um, anyway. Can you see me breathing? Standing here without you. And I can see it's midnight. Avatar's back. Jesus Christ. I mean, I, how, are you, how are you supposed to root for these fucking giant blue people? They just, I don't understand. I, like, I remember I went and I saw that. I, I bought into the hype and I bought the fucking 3D glasses. And I'm sitting there and I, I don't know how, I must have been an hour and 10 minutes of that to movie before I realized that I didn't give a fuck about anybody in it. Like anybody could have got killed in that movie at any moment. I would have been like, all right. Okay, good. One down. <laughs> um, 